Hey, welcome back to another video. Now, I usually make videos on mental health and psychology, but this one, I was thinking I'd do something a little bit different. I'm gonna share with you some technology that I used with me on my trip to India. I went for about six weeks, so I went all the way. I went to Mumbai, I went to Coimbatore, I went up north to Dharamshala, which is like at the foot of the Himalayas. So I had a really amazing trip. Now, six weeks is a really long time. Now, what I'm about to share with you in this video is all the tech that I pretty much used throughout the whole trip. And I'm telling you, like I pretty much used all of these things every single day. And so I'm going to share with you all those things right now. And let's get started. First thing I probably should show you is the backpack that I used. Now, if you were familiar, you would know that this is the same backpack that I have in this video right over here. If you haven't checked that out, I highly recommend that you do because there is a special guest in that one. Also, by the way, there's a few things in this video that you might know, never have seen before that are actually really pretty interesting. But before we get to them, the first thing is this backpack over here. This is the tool 20 liter backpack. Now. This is my second one of this because the first one I accidentally put in the wash. Well, I didn't accidentally put in the washing machine, but I accidentally put an open can of like an energy drink on the side of the bag that just kind of just soaked the bag with like black currant caffeine loaded um, sugar um, in a drink. And that completely like destroyed the bag. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to put this in the washing machine, see how it goes. And the bag practically just died. And I love the bag so much that I, just thought I'd get another one. So this is the second one that I have with this. This one has traveled with me all over the world. Um, and I used it on this trip as well because it works. If it's not broken, don't fix it. And this is what we're dealing with. It's got a beautiful, it's got a really, it's got like plenty of zips and who doesn't love a bag with heaps of zips. It's got the one at the front over here. Now this is where I kind of just kept all my wires for my trip because in India, apparently you have to take all the wires out and I just couldn't be bothered keeping it in like a little thing. I should probably grab like a little mini bag where I could put all my wires in, but this just had this front compartment and I didn't know what else to use it for. So I had all my wires in here. I also thought it'd be a great idea um, to bring a power bank, which I also kept at the front over here. Now I just used a standard, let me just grab it for a second. I used this, I used the standard, tw I think it was a 20, 26,800 milliamp hour battery pack. Now this thing is heavy, but it's got all the ports as you can see right here, if it's gonna focus on it. Yeah, come on, focus, 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 focus. No, it's not, ah, there we go, there you go. As you can see, it's got all the ports. This thing lasted forever. It lasted pretty much the whole trip. Like it lasted, I did it, oh, how many hours of traveling did I do? I did about 28 hours of traveling from Melbourne to uh, Mumbai. So I went through, I went through Bangkok and then I went through Delhi as well. Like I just, it was the cheapest flights that I could get and it was, obviously not that great in terms of layovers and everything, but this lasted the whole time. Like I didn't have to charge this the whole time until I actually got to India and it kept my phone alive and everything. So I was, I was really happy with this. This is the power bank that I used. Anyway, back to the backpack. This was like, it's got heaps of zips inside as you can see right here, heaps, plenty of zips um, for, for storage and whatnot. And then obviously you've got the safe zone. Usually this is where, this is like, I've got a couple of like, a couple of mini Polaroids that I got um, from my trip, but I just kept my sunnies in here. Um, and yeah, any other random important item, items that I really just needed to grab really quickly. And obviously in the laptop compartment as well, you have another kind of little space, little pocket here that I would have put my iPad in, but I didn't bring my iPad this time because like I had to pretty much, um, like I, I knew towards the end of my trip that one of my psychology subjects, subjects were gonna start. And like, I usually use my iPad for either note taking or just content consumption. Um, but I really needed to have the functionality of my full laptop. So I, I would, if I were to bring my iPad, it would have to be an addition along with my laptop. And I just thought, you know what? I could do whatever I, it is that I need on my laptop anyway. I don't really need the iPad for this trip. Plus it just adds like a whole lot of extra weight, which is not what I need. And especially traveling like through like India, especially in the smaller airports, like in Dharamshala, they like weigh everything. Um, and I got fired for overweight. Being, being being like having overweight luggage and it was just oh anyway that's another story within itself but essentially i just didn't bring my ipad i instead brought my laptop which is my 14 inch m1 pro 2021 space gray laptop which is obviously over -specced. i don't need it i essentially 
I was going to get the M1, um, just the standard M1 MacBook Air, but I figured because I was working on Apple at the time that, you know what, why don't I just splurge all out and use it? Plus, it's got all the ports. I'm really happy that it's got the HDMI and the especially the SD card slot as well, which is extremely helpful um, with transferring footage and whatnot. And I don't have to carry like a dongle around, which is like fantastic. It's like, like one thing I didn't carry on this trip was a dongle. Like I didn't, I didn't have to take this around. Like I was so happy with that. Like it's just like, it's, it's small and compact and whatnot, but it's just like, I just didn't have to carry this around. Like it just wasn't, was one less thing that I just didn't have to carry, which I was really happy about. And this is like where I, like where I fully got to experience not having to carry one of these things, um, which is really good. I'm really happy. I'm so glad I skipped that whole phase because the laptop that I had before this was, if you watch the other video, it was the 2015, early 2015, um, MacBook Pro, 512 gigabytes. And it was massive, heavy and whatnot. Same, practically, Actually, it's the same size, practically the same size as this one. This is just one inch bigger. Um, but yeah, that had all the ports and everything. And I think everyone, I'm just rambling on at the moment, but everyone got the MacBooks in between with all the, with the only the USB-C and they had to carry these around when they traveled. And it was just, I'm just so glad that I skipped all that because I can't imagine the nightmare it must have been. Anyway, that's the backpack and whatnot to it. Also in that fold, I had this. This is the, the Kindle Paperwhite. Now, if it's gonna focus on here, yep, yep, it focused, beautiful. This is the Kindle Paperwhite. I got this for my birthday when I was 21 years old. Now, I'm not a big reader. I probably, like, I'm not gonna, be, I'm not gonna lie to you and say I read heaps. I read now and then, occasionally, but um, I'm not a, not a huge reader. Like, I literally, I use this maybe twice on the whole trip. So I practically could have just used my phone. So, in terms of whether or not I should have brought this, I probably shouldn't have. If you're a big reader, then I'd probably recommend bringing one of these because obviously you don't want to be carrying heaps of books around. Um, so this is just a really compact way of just like holding everything together. Speaking of phones, I had my 13 inch, um, not 13 inch, iPhone 13 Pro Max. It was this is this was just perfect for taking pictures. Like it was fantastic, which is also why I didn't bring my my camera either because I was like, you know what? If I need to take pictures, I'm not gonna really video much um, because I just had camps and like I, was, I knew I was gonna be busy and I didn't wanna carry like a camera with me. And I was like, you know what? The camera and the video thing on like, the video on this is just perfectly fine. Apple just does it so well. So I knew I was gonna get by with this. Now this is where things get really interesting. The team at Ampere sent me, Ampere Technology sent me this. This is a three in one wireless charger. Um, this, one, this one is for their Apple devices. And it, it's like, it was like perfect for the trip. It is so convenient. All you have to do is just plug it in. It's got that, that USB port just right here. And you just plug it straight into the wall and then you can charge three devices at once. I believe it's um, two wireless charging at 15 watts. 15 watts. Um, so it's not, it's not the fastest thing in the world, but it was like fantastic for like overnight charging. Like I'm just really happy that I didn't have to take all these different wires with me. And then I could just take this, plug this into a wall and I was ready and set to go. I used it to charge my Apple Watch Series 7, my iPhone and my AirPods as well, all at the same time, just overnight. Like it was just super convenient to have. Plus they also sent me this. Now this is super important. This is pretty sick. This is just an adapter, but it can change. Like it is... Like, I, know, this is, I don't know why this is so exciting for me, but I, don't, I just don't have something like this. And I'm really glad that they sent me this because this has got obviously USB-C and it's got normal USB-A as well. But the important part was that they gave me like, they gave me this and it came with like a set of attachments, three different attachments. And most importantly, it came with the one for India. So I didn't have to buy an adapter. Like I could just swap the Australian one out for this one and plug it into the wall and we were set to go. I could charge my laptop and whatnot, use it to with this. And like, it was just, I don't know. I was just really grateful. And I'm really glad that they sent me this. By the way, if you want 20% off their products, you can use my code um, just here. It's just Himmel20 and you can get 20% off Ampere products, which I think is pretty sick. Like. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna endorse something that I didn't use myself. I was gonna make this video a lot earlier before my trip, but I hadn't really used this to full extent. I just plugged it in. Um, but this was like this was awesome. It also it lasted me six months. Sorry, not six months. Six weeks in India, and it's perfectly fine in perfect condition. I still use it now. Like I just use it now as just a bedside charger. And if I were to go anywhere else, you can best bet that this is going to go with me. On to the next thing. Speaking of what this three-in-one wireless charger charges, my AirPods Pro, 
classic standard ones first gen works just fine it was fantastic on the airplane but i also made sure that i brought my qc35s these are the bose these are the bose qc35s i've had this since i think i was 16 like i got this for my birthday when i was 16 and it is just it's a fantastic device and it's not so much about the headphones like the the noise cancelling is perfect like i remember the first time i used it there were three babies crying on the plane and this thing just like it just cut their noise by like 90% and I had the most peaceful sleep ever. That is important. The quiet, like the, 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 um, the noise cancelling is super important, but more important than that is this, this thing right here. This is just an adapter. Now I had no idea these things existed, um, but like this was just perfect. Like you just plug it in, plug it into the headphones, and plug it into like the, the side, like, well, like the armrest of the seat on the airplane. And then you can hook up to the, to the TV and then have the sound come through your earphones rather than using that annoying like airplane, like headphones that they give you. Like when, you, when you're walking in or like inside the pocket, like it's just like, it was like, I got to use these to watch movies. Like it was just fantastic. Like I will hands down forever probably keep, be keeping these. And this is the, like I bought the AirPods Max but like in terms of noise canceling, obviously they were a lot better. They were also a lot heavier. And I think most importantly, the reason why I returned them was because it just didn't have that headphone jack. And I was like, well, if I'm gonna be using this on flights and I'm gonna be watching movies, I don't wanna be like, I'm not gonna be able to plug in. Like I, ha I just have to use their headphones. And I was just like, there was no point to that. And so I just kept these and these were just fantastic. And I just returned the AirPods Max. So yeah, if you're traveling, make sure you try and get headphones that have like, like, a, like a headphone jack. And if yours doesn't come with one of these, get one of these, super helpful. Like you will be really thankful. The really cool thing about this one is that this folds down. So just in case the airplane that you're on only has like one kind of pin space, then, then you're sorted, you're fine. You're absolutely fine. So yeah, on to the next thing, just got the classic notebook and pen. Now my pen of choice will forever be Muji. Like Muji pens are hands down the best. Muji ink pens especially are just hands down the best. Like the writing is just so beautiful. I use this notebook basically just for jotting down ideas for my introspection. Any thoughts that kind of just come to mind, I kind of just wrote it down straight into this book. Now this is another travel essential, just a weighing scale. This was just super helpful, just to weigh my hand luggage and just make sure that I wasn't taking um, anything overweight, especially in all the mini airports in India because they really, they really make sure that you don't go overweight on the, um, the carry-ons. And so if I ever felt like, or like this thing said that I was over seven kilos, <laughs> then I'd, I'd like open my, open my, uh, my carry-on and just wear all, the, all my jackets until I knew it was less than seven kilos. And then I'd, then I'd travel. Like literally it was like, I think I was wearing, I think I was wearing six layers at one point. Like I had a, I had a t-shirt, I had a shirt, I had a sweater, followed by a raincoat and then my puffer jacket. How many is that? I think it's five layers. Anyway, it was just, it was too many layers, more than, more than that, more than was necessary. Like you can clearly tell that I was trying to wear the weight rather than just have it on the carry on. So anyway, the next thing is this drink bottle. This is a make it happen drink bottle. I did the course, make it happen earlier on in January. And this is what my drink bottle of choice was. Really cool thing about this drink bottle is like, you can chuck your hot water or cold water in here, click the top. And when you pour it, like if you like have a look here, when you pour it, come on, focus, 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 focus. When you pour it, like you can use the, the cap as a, as a cup, like, mm. how cool, how cool is that? And like, I just, I just thought that was sick. It's completely unnecessary, but um, I think, I think it's, it's necessary if you have like a lot of hot water. Like if you're just, you can't just, obviously you can't just like hot water the thing, but um, yeah, I, I, like it's fantastic for hot water, especially on cold days. Now it was really cold in Dharamshala. Like it was what, six, seven degrees on some days. So this was really awesome. Kept the water warm and yeah. Now another necessity for obvious reasons is hand sanitizer, but this was always accompanied by wet wipes. Now I just got a pack from Kmart, just 15 wet wipes, but this was perfect. Just in case, you know, your hands get a little bit sticky. Right? Or like, you know, you're eating Indian food with your hands and you just need to wipe your hands and the bathroom is too far away. So what do you do? You can't use hand sanitizer because that's just gonna spread everything everywhere. That's not what you want. And so you gotta get yourself some wet wipes. 
perfect, perfect solution to all these problems. And then obviously accompanied by a pack of tissues, very, very importantly, a roll of toilet paper, multiple if you need, for reasons that I think you can probably figure out yourself. Now, last but not least, we've got these sunglasses, 10 bucks from Cotton On. And that's pretty much it, my friends. I didn't take much else with me. I just really loved my trip. Now, all these things that I did share with you, like I said, I used pretty much every single day. They were super helpful with me, not too much that I would change. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please make sure that you like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.